molar mass, number of grams in one mole, it's equal to the numeric value of the atomic mass. Okay, so when you look at the periodic table, the atomic mass is replaced, the AMU is replaced by grams, and that's your molar mass. This is a test to see you uh, use the periodic table to find these items. We all know SN is 10. Finally, what's the mass in grams of one mole equal numerically to the sum of the atomic masses? You want to note that calcium chloride is calcium one mole and two moles of chloride because it's calcium Cl2. Same thing goes for uh, N2O4 which is two moles of nitrogen and four moles of oxygen. Uh, we proceed to do this problem where you're going through the practice of finding out what everything is by finding potassium and oxygen and an acid. Note the OH3, you put everything inside the parentheses times 3. So it's 3 O's and 3 H's. Okay, another test, C17H18F3NO. Um, for ex your exam, you can leave it like this. You don't have to calculate it out. And lastly, we do a percent type of problem. In this unit, it's pretty much types of problems, and you have to memorize how to do. So in this situation, you have C5H8NO4, monosodium glutamate. And what you want to do is you want to calculate the total percent of carbon in the atom, in the molecule. And the way you do that is you take the molar mass, of the entire compound and you break it down. T total grams of carbon divided by total grams of the compound times it by 100 and that will be your percent. Now we talk about molar mass factors. Methane gas known as natural gas uh, express the molar mass of methane in the form of conversion factors. We want to get in the habit of doing this where it's 16 grams of CH4 to 1 mole of CH4. Note that these two values, you can interchange them, you can flip them, because basically it's still 1. Find the molar mass of acetic acid, CH3COOH. It, you know it has a 60 gram molar mass, so plug that in. Grams can go to moles by using the molar mass. How do we do this problem? Take 3 moles of AL, how much does that weigh? Look it up and set up 27 grams of AL. The conversion factor is 27 grams of AL over a mole of AL or a mole of AL over 27 grams. Here's your setup and finalize the answer. Aspartime is another problem. How many moles of aspartime present 225 grams of aspartime? You find the molar mass of CHC14, 14, 14 times 12 is the C, 18 times 1.01 is the H, 2 times 14 is the N, 5 times O, 16 is the O. That's your molar mass. Then you take your 225 grams of aspartime, times it by 1 mole of aspartime, divided by 294 grams of aspartime, leaving you 7.765 moles of aspartime.